Everyone loves to heat electron. It is the framework that turned our machines into heaters. It is the reason your fans spin like a jet engine when you open a chat app. But asking if electron is still relevant is asking if JavaScript is still good. It doesn't matter because it owns us. According to the latest data, Electron still holds 60% dominance over the cross-platform market and 56% of companies plan to adopt it by the end of the year. So the industry is not killing Electron, it's doubling down. Why? Because capitalism hates waiting. For everyone C++ developer who knows how to manage memory without leaking, there are 8 web developers who just want to npm install their problems away. So what about Tauri? I hear the rest evangelist typing furiously in comment section. Now yes, Tauri creates tiny 5 MB binaries while Electron sips an entire chroming browser per app. Tauri is great, Tauri is the future, but Electron has tens of years of battle scars. It handles the weird edge cases of Windows 7, Mac OS permissions and Linux distros nobody has heard of. Now big companies like Discord and Microsoft VS Code stick with Electron not because they love bloating, they because they love stability. The simple economic cycle is companies save money reusing the React code, you get the app faster, you are forced to buy RAM, yes to run it, it's not a bug, it's a hardware stimulus package. So is it relevant? If you're a startup, yes. If you're a Microsoft, yes. Sure, we can optimize using worker threads and native bindings, but let's be honest, nobody does that. Electron is the trash we hate, it's the trash we live in. There's a new UI framework called Valdi by Snapchat, check that video too.